Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to spotlight your subject and make the photo pop a little bit. So I have this image right here and I wanna highlight this person. You can see that the image overall is sort of a flat image. There's no uh, kind of dodging and burning that's going on to where it really makes the model stand out as much as she could. So what we're gonna do is add a spotlight to this person and it's very, very easy to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is go over here to our adjustment layers and we're going to grab the curves adjustment layer. Now this is where we need to kind of darken the image overall, have a little bit more dark. So what we're gonna do is take the highlights, the further top right most point, I'm gonna drag that down to roughly about halfway, um, probably around there. And now we're gonna do is just add a small bit of contrast, a little bit of bump right around here and drag it down and there we go. So now the image is overall darkened a little bit and this is kind of what we're going for. So now what we're gonna do is to click on our adjustment layer that is applied when you choose the curves adjustment layer. We're gonna go get a brush. We're gonna make sure the brush color is black. Right here you can see our foreground color is black. And we're gonna make our brush very large, um, probably about almost the size as the image and make sure that it is a hard brush so my hardness is all set to 100. So I'm gonna click right here once and you can see that it creates like a perfect circle. So now what we need to do is kind of misshape in this a little bit to make it not as, as perfect of a circle because that's kind of a dead giveaway that we kind of started messing around with it and did a lot of post-processing here. So with my adjustment layer selected, I'm gonna click Command or Control T on your keyboard and that'll bring up the transform box. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna choose distort and I'm just gonna kind of bring this down a little bit and kind of mess with this. You can certainly take this kind of method any way you want to here and I'm gonna click warp and then kind of warp this a little bit more. No real rhyme or reason, no shape I'm trying to get. I'm just kind of trying to make it not look as perfect. So right around there and I'm gonna click okay. So now what we need to do is go to our properties dialog box and this, is, this will allow us to feather this in. So I'm gonna click on my adjustments here and when you click on that, you're gonna see the properties dialog box. If you don't see that, go to windows and then properties and it'll pop up there. And now what we can do is just go to feather and take the feather up a little bit as much as we want to. You can see it start to feather and we're brightening up the subject while keeping the background dark. And you can see that it kind of makes the subject step, uh, kind of pop out a little bit more. More like, it, this is basically like a vignette, but you have a little bit more control over making the subject pop out. So this is kind of the technique that we wanted to do. So what we can do is I can actually show you how to do this here, which is what we just did. And I can show you how to do it in Canva Raw, which is actually very easy to do as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this here. And I'm gonna go over here to Filter camera raw filter and here we are back where we kind of started here so I'm gonna get my ellipse tool here and I'm gonna drag an ellipse right over this person the only thing we cannot do is kind of misshape in this a little bit but we can certainly play around with it so I'm gonna kind of get it right around there I'm gonna reset all of these values and now what I'm gonna do is take the exposure and just back it down now we can see the problem we have here is is actually affecting inside the circle. What we don't want to do is do that. We want to actually affect the outside. And what we're going to do is click over here to the effect area and choose outside. And that will kind of darken the outside there a little bit more. And there we go. So now that was just a kind of a quick little effect that you can do both in Camera Raw and Photoshop. Photoshop actually gives you a little bit more control over the ellipse, but you can still play around with it and uh, get kind of a cool effect in Camera Raw as well. So hope you enjoyed that quick little tutorial on adding uh, basically like a spotlight or vignette on your subject. If you want to learn more about photography, all the videos we have here, please remember to subscribe or head over to sleeklens.com. We have a lot more videos, blogs, all kinds of stuff over there. So thank you for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from Sleeklens, and I'll see you in the next one.